Hello everyone, in this video uh, I will show you how to use my Google Search Console Looker Studio report template that can save you a lot of time during working with uh, Google Search Console data. Yeah, And there are three elements that make this uh, template so unique. The first one is better filtering than Search Console has by default. The second is that uh, it has many uh, keyword ranking uh, reporting that Search Console has not. And the third is that uh, it has some valuable custom metrics uh, calculated based on good Search Console data that can give you much more insights based on this data. And um, before we go into the structure of the report and the, uh, uh, how custom metrics is calculated and so on, uh, let's say why the Google Search Console interface by default is not enough, yeah. And yeah, it's the uh, great tool, the Search Console, and if you work with like uh, five, 10 minutes uh, a week with that uh, uh, tool just to quickly assess the performance of the website, it can be enough for you. But if you need to dive deeper to research the performance of some website category of some specific uh, list of keywords or pages, uh, or you need to look for some patterns in the data, which one page is up or down and so on, it, Google Search Console is not enough in this case. Yeah, and that's why we need the Looker Studio. And uh, so uh, let me explain the uh, three improvements. Yeah, I, I mentioned uh, the first one is the better filtering. So you can see that you can quickly use a filter as uh, contains uh, equals and so on. Uh, as such, uh, just using checkboxes, I choose the different pages you would like to uh, research. And it's much easier than uh, in the filters in Search Console where you, sh you should use uh, regular expressions and so on to just to measure the performance of a few different uh, addresses, yeah. Then um, uh, the second is uh, the second great thing is uh, great keyword ranking reports that Search Console has not. So uh, the problem that uh, I often need to view how position of different uh, top keywords that page rank uh, land page ranks for how they change during the time. And in the Google Search Console, I can't do that. So I can choose the one keyword, but what if I need to uh, view the top 10 keywords of the page? I can't uh, uh, view that yet. And Looker Studio template helps to do that. So it's like your uh, custom free rank tracker that help you to uh, monitor uh, rankings for different pages. Then uh, the third important thing is the custom calculated metrics that Search Console has no by default. And let me explain each of the metrics. So the first one is uh, ranked keywords. This is not something you we just uh, using the opportunities of the Looker Studio. Yeah, we just uh, calculate the count of unique queries we have from Search Console. Yeah, and so we know how many unique keywords we rank for. The same for the ranked pages. This uh, counts the how many landed pages have at least one impression for the selected period. Then average ide ideal final result. It helps you to understand how close you to the your ideal uh, picture where uh, all keywords ranked on the number one position. Yeah, so it's very easily calculated. We just uh, uh, impressions divide on the average positions and divide on the impressions. And then the lost clicks, uh, it's already some forecasting. It's not so accurate uh, because we uh, do many assumptions here, but it's, it can help you. Yeah. So in this case, uh, we just um, uh, assume that if uh, some, uh, like if your website will be ranked on the number one position for all uh, keywords it's already ranked for and uh, the average CTR rate for all keywords will be 20% uh, 
so it's how much more clicks we can get uh, per selected period uh, for your website yeah so in this case for example my website has uh, uh, 129 clicks and I can get much much more yes so uh, it's like it's on the site level but below in the tables I can view on the page level and query level and it helps to understand me uh, on which landing pages I should work to, on, on first to get uh, more clicks yeah and uh, the last uh, custom metric is the potential rank I also use it often it's, it's my custom metric uh, in this metric I just divide impressions on the average position yes yeah? so it helps you to um, it, it's metric uh, takes into account the big uh, the, the size of the value yeah so how many impressions the page query has and how closer to the, this um, value its average position yeah so the higher impressions and the lower the average position the biggest potential rank will be so it's very easy also to sort pages by this uh, metric and work on that first uh, so um, then let's see the, uh, let's see the structure of uh, all uh, which one pages you have here so the first one it's the general dashboard so uh, like general uh, site level metrics yeah where you can just research the dynamics and uh, like top 10 keywords of the whole website top 10 uh, pages of the whole website and table to sort keywords and uh, landing pages by their potential you also can use filters here and uh, for somebody this page is already enough uh, then keyword rankings uh, here uh, we have the uh, more data by keywords yeah it's focused only like uh, on the average position of the spe uh, specific keywords and by default it's sorted by the impressions yeah but you also can sort them by uh, average position by URL clicks and so on so you will see top 15 keywords different based uh, for the page different based on the type of uh, metric you use for extracting which one uh, top 10 top 15 keywords but you which which one metric you should uh, you, you would uh, uh, see here yeah then um, the third page is the keyword group by pages uh, it's also missed uh, feature in the search console because uh, always you see the data separ separated by the keywords and pages and even when you will export the data to google sheets or uh, csv you also will see this data in different tabs and here you also see the grouped data and it's easy to uh, research maybe some uh, landing page ranks for non-relevant keywords and these keywords uh, deserve the creating of uh, new pages different new pages on your website yeah yeah and you also can quickly uh, export this data to uh, CSV or Google Sheets and work uh, there with this data then we have landing page rankings is the same thing as for the keywords but uh, but for landing pages uh, like we average position for queries for specific landing page we see here yeah and then keywords uh, comparison matrix uh, comparison yes yeah, so uh, i have here different options the first one is the custom date range so in this the first table you will always see the comparison for uh, the period selected in this calendar yes yeah? so if i will choose different period the table will be updated and the comp i will here will see different data here uh, and below there are st static tables yeah calendar does not affect them uh, it's just for to save your time you yeah? just What's, uh, what's changed for the last seven days? What's changed for the last 30 days and 90 days, uh, 180 days? Yeah, so, and you can just scroll and can view that. Like for the last seven days you grow up and, but for, for the last uh, half a year you grow, you, uh, you down, yeah? So, uh, yeah, it's, it helps you quickly to 
uh, see the difference uh, in a matrix of the different keywords and what's important it helped you to research for some patterns yeah so which one keywords up and which down yeah and here you can also like sort this uh, uh, data by different columns but what's the, uh, the problem is that in looker studio you can't sort uh, data but by delta yeah so to, to sort data by delta you need to export this data to the search console google sheets and do that uh, there and then mm, landing pages uh, is the same thing uh, for just compare the metrics for landing pages as for the keywords uh, that i explained uh, before and the last one is for uh, for country also the same thing as for queries and uh, for uh, as for queries and landing pages but for countries yeah tables uh, so that's all you see that you can't uh, there are no many like uh, uh, creative visuals just uh, uh, data in tables and I like that so it's very insightful and uh, action oriented report I said so now let me show you how mm, to work with a template yeah and there are two options uh, the first one is very basic after buying the template I send you access to your email and you will have access to the uh, link uh, so you can bookmark this link and work in with the template just using the connector yeah because by default uh, you will see the list of properties uh, your gmail account has access to and you ch uh, can choose your property all the data will be um, uh, loaded to this based on this property yeah it's easy to work you don't need to change everything anything but if i will do any additions to the template you will also see the, see them uh, so I recommend you to copy the template and uh, you will the owner of this template and you can always know that everything okay with that yeah so uh, you get this link for example open it your under your uh, gmail account yeah and click on make a copy and here you, you mm, find some confusion yeah because uh, there are two data sources and there are some order should be followed so um, let me show you how in which order the data uh, we have here so we have two tables the first one it's the uh, Google search console uh, data set about the site and the other one the Google search console about the URL yeah so what's important to do when you create data source you click on the search look for search console you're choosing the property and the first one you should use the site impression uh, table yeah and search type web then click connect and very important here to set up the um, name for the this property because uh, by default uh, Google like Google Studio use the same names for different uh, data sets and it's um, very hard to like you can't uh, see the reason when you are trying to connect them so we call them uh, search console site uh, and add the report and then we click on the another source search console and now you use the your real impression table also search type web and also you create the you should edit the name of the property yeah url to see the difference when you will try to connect them so now let's show the let's uh, uh, it doesn't show me their names so let update the report and again I try to click make copy and now yeah it's all updated I can follow uh, I can see the difference yes yeah, so I click on the site 
and now I should use the URL let's search for URL so looks like there are no URL about this website let's try to connect it again URL impression we added the name add in URL choose the URL yes the first one should be said the, uh, the second one the URL copy the wrapper wait a little bit and the sign of the good copying yeah process is that uh, charts the uh, load, loading and uh, there are no any problems with the scorecards or charts and every data is visible yeah every chart is visible in this case the copying is successful you became the owner of the report you can prove it just clicking on the Google Studio and you you see that uh, you can see that here you're the owner yeah uh, and uh, let me update yeah you see that owned by me and the, the last one was shared by me and this one is owned by me so yeah uh, it's but it's still the basic option of working the template and the advanced option is to edit something uh, for you for yourself yeah so remember that any template you buy it's not just uh, something that you sh always should work uh, as it was created yeah you can edit and let something since add something since you can like uh, uh, just add your custom metrics or maybe you'd like to create a separate pages for different uh, subfolders on your website and so on and so on uh, yeah so that's all write me if you have any questions in in the video comments and uh, on youtube and uh, i will glad to answer for you have a nice day